Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 50. I've got a medium clue to open to kick things off. Not expecting anything, but if we got the Ranger Boots, that would be pretty cool. And we didn't. That's to be expected. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm probably going to be doing some Slayer. I've got an Abyssal Demon task, so I'm trying to weigh up whether I should be going back to Sire. I should be going back to Sire. It's whether I want to go back to Sire. I don't particularly enjoy it. But the bludgeon's a good weapon to have, so um, might do a few kills, see if we can get an unsired and get lucky. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, got an elite clue from uh, Abyssal Sire. Can we get anything good? Mm. It's a decent value, 328k. Um, no uniques, and I've already completed that book, but um, yeah, that's not too bad. Got an easy clue and an elite clue from uh, Fish and Karen Bonds. Can we get anything good? Well, I wasn't expecting too much from the easy clue. And I really should never expect anything good from the elites, but um, there we go. Yes, there we go. That is unside number two, pretty much on the drop rate. I think they're one in 100. Praying I can get the uh, second bludgeon piece. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I really don't like this boss. Oh, I don't want that. I really don't want that. I just want to get this boss over and done with. It's worth a decent chunk of money. Um, I don't know if it's got any uses for me. I'll have to look into that. But um, that's unfortunate. I think there's like a near 50% chance of getting a bludgeon piece from an unsired. I don't know what the um, percentages are on the other rewards. I'd have to look into that. But um, yeah, there we go. That's my first ever Abyssal Dagger. Fishing level coming in, that is 88. So three left to go until I'll be able to do the Mauritania Elite Diary. Got a few clue scrolls from fishing, easy, medium, and elite. Let's see if we can get anything good from the clues. No. So the portal nexus room in the player owned houses are now officially out. Um, my initial plan was to get to 85 construction because that would only uh, require then a plus four boost and uh, you can stack that with the plus three boost from the crystal saw. But I think I'm going to go for 84 construction simply because the method I'm going to be using to train is the mythical cape method, which if you don't know, um, gives you more XP per teak plank. So normally I think you get around 90 XP per plank, but for some reason with the um, mythical cape stand that you can create, um, it gives you like 123 XP. So that's a good way to get the most out of the resources I've got. I've, I actually worked it out if I did that for all of the um, teak logs that I've got in the bank, that would be over uh, one mil extra worth of XP if that makes sense if you know I, compared to if I was going to be doing something like the known benches um, it's slightly slower XP overall per hour or it might even be significantly slower I think it's about 200k XP per hour I can't quite remember what you get with the um, known benches but it does mean less time spent collecting resources so I, at least for these two levels that's the method I'm going to use um, I need to create about 4,000 planks which won't take too long and then knock out the two levels and I should have everything I need um, to fill out the nexus I haven't quite decided if I'm going to delete all of my portal chambers or leave one um, with my three most used teleports in um, I need to make a decision on that because I've seen a lot of people saying that it might be better to have you know, one nexus room and one uh, extra portal chamber. But um, regardless, I'll go and get these two levels quickly and um, start filling out the uh, nexus room. All right, well, there is 83, so one left to go. XP wise, I'm getting 280K XP an hour, which is more than I was expecting. Um, so about an hour left to go uh, on this level. Um, in all honesty, though, it's very click intensive. Um, so I don't, I don't really know if I'll, I'll use this method again, but um, I guess it's nice to get the extra XP per plank, but I'm going to have to look into other methods because I don't really know if it is going to be worth doing, to be perfectly honest. The time saved collecting the supplies, it might be nicer just to spend the extra time woodcutting compared to doing this method, to be honest. 
All right, there we go, that is 84. I ended up moving on to doing uh, teak benches and I had to finish this off with uh, mahogany planks. But honestly, um, the teak method is so much better than doing the mythical cape um, way of doing things. I'm not gonna be using that method again. It's so click intensive. You get awful XP. It's like, I was getting 280K an hour and it was just such a strain on the fingers. But using the, um, the teak garden benches, it was like 520k XP an hour. It was really straightforward. It was much less um, click intensive. Gonna finish up the um, the portal nexus. Um, so I need to get myself a boost. Also gonna upgrade my jewelry box um, once I've got the boost because I've got the supplies for that. Rejig the house a little bit and um, yeah, we'll see how things are looking after that. That is a pretty hefty rune cost, but um, I think it's worth having. I've unlocked all of them apart from the fishing guild. I just don't think I'll ever use that. Um, I'm going to restructure my house because um, obviously I can get rid of these teleport chambers now. Um, so I'll do a quick shuffle around and uh, show you what I come up with. All right, so I'll just give you a quick run through of what the house is looking like now. Um, I put it into a 4x4 configuration. so. Teleporting into the house, it's pretty much the same as before. I've got the rejuvenation pool here. Um, teleports here and here, which is pretty handy. Um, fairy ring and spirit tree all close by. The garden spaces look pretty bare, but it's good not having the fences because it just means I can run quite easily across here. Um, I guess it's a little bit more efficient. Um, two rooms I'm not really sure that I need anymore um, would be the chapel and well, this room, which literally just has the KQ head. Um, I didn't really want to get rid of it, but I've got so many of these, I don't really need to keep it. Um, yeah, all in all, I feel like it's a um, pretty good setup. I decided to get rid of all of the portal rooms in the end, so I've only got this. Um, mounted the dig site pendant. I'll probably spend some cash in the future just to spruce it up, make it look a bit nicer. But um, yeah, hopefully having the 4x4 should reduce the loading times ever so slightly when teleporting in but I guess there's scope to move things around so this might not be the final thing but it's pretty much there. Got a farming level coming in that is 96 so just three left to go until 99. Probably should have got this level a few episodes ago but at last 99 strength. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother picking up the cape um, the unlimited teleports to the Warriors Guild I don't think it's worth the bank space to be perfectly honest and I've got the um, uh, combat bracelet in my jewellery box in the house now so yeah just uh, switch over to attack because I'm very close to 95 uh, attack now and then just probably you know one level of each in attack and defense all the way up to 99 now and that is 95 attack on a superior of all things um, I'll only show the loot if I get something decent because half the time it's not. Looks like I'm heading back to Cow Fight Queen 132, so basically just looking for the herbal or secondaries, um, lots of potato cactus, and um, what's the other thing that it drops? Wines of Zamorak. Yep, that's uh, that's what I'm after. And that is <laughs> my third dragon chain body in 206 Cow Fight Queen kills. The luck here continues. Got an elite clue from KQ, what can we get? A whole lot of nothing. Uh, well that's pretty random, um, Dragon 2H Sword on my second Venonatus kill. I was actually going for um, the Dragon Pick, but there we go. I've been going really hard on the herb runs and I've pretty much run out of seeds. Um, the only ones I might even consider doing now are these Haralanders. Um, definitely not going to do anything Taramin or below. To be honest, I don't even know why I've got the Guam seeds in the bank, to be perfectly honest. Um, never going to farm those or even turn the Guams into potions, so that might be worth me getting rid of those just for the bank space. But um, yeah, I got a decent stack of herbs. I got 95 banked in herbs. Um, obviously don't have all the secondaries for those, but I'm not in any particular rush to get those levels, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, looking at the things that I've got left to unlock... It's just, um, yeah, super anti-venoms might come in handy at some point, but I can boost for those and, yeah, 
the antivirus stuff I don't really need at the moment because I'm not doing Vorkath, but um, yeah, hopefully get some Necreal tasks or Abbey spec tasks sometime soon because I haven't had them for a while and that's going to be my best bet for gathering herb seeds now, I think. Well, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, it's really good to get um, the Portal Nexus up and running in my house. Um, that was quite a, a long anticipated uh, update, to be perfectly honest. And um, it's always good just to pare down the rooms in the house. Helps with the loading times and stuff like that. Um, yeah, 99 strength as well. Another um, level that's been long in the making. I think um, next episode, just going to continue with Slayer. Um, I feel like the actual Slayer XP gains have been quite slow because I've been doing a lot of boss tasks but um, in the long run I think that's the right thing to do, it's going to be pretty beneficial, things like Cow Fight Queen for the drops and um, Dagonoff Kings for the bones, that sort of thing, um, definitely worth doing. So fingers crossed there'll be more rare drops and exciting stuff in the next episode. Hope you guys will come back. Feel free to subscribe if you want to uh, get notified of when the next video is uh, available. And um, yeah, hopefully see you then. Take care.